First of all, just to let you know, we're using a training knife. So it is, it is just totally dull, so you're not gonna hurt each other, but it's still made out of metal, it's aluminum. And be, because of that, you get used to that flash. You know, if you train with a rubber one or a wooden one, it, it's like a stick. This way, when you're moving, you see the flash. If the first time you see the reflection is when you're in a fight, it can be distracting. So you train with the kind of weapon that actually makes sense for what you're doing. So knife fighting, use a knife. Use something that's metal and it has a reflective surface. All right, so I'm gonna call in my, my opponent, my partner over here. Uh, this is uh, E.Q. Baylor. And first thing he's gonna do is just kind of stand there. He's gonna be my dummy so that I can demonstrate um, some of the cuts that we use in this. So what we have, we have a, di a diagonal downward cut. And then we have the opposite di diagonal cut. So what we're doing is we're coming across here. It can go across the chest, we can take it across the stomach, you can do it across the leg. You can even use the same movement here and you can use it as a blocking mechanism. Because if I come across and cut his arm, he's gonna react by pulling back. It's automatic, it's just the way we are. So the movements that we're doing are cutting then we have upward angle, and we have straight across angles. Now the straight across are a lot more effective because we can go to different target areas. So we can go across the chest, the stomach, the lower stomach, the leg. You can do all of those areas with the same type movement. Now we're using a, what we call a standard grip for most of these. If I use a reverse grip, I can still do the, all the same angles still come side here, side here. All right, so you, you can still do them all. We have up and we have down as well. And with the standard, we can do the up and down. So all of the cut variations are because of the way the person comes in. You know, with the arm, I could do an upward cut. I can do a block, wham, and just come right up here right at the armpit into the shoulder area, and that's gonna sever that muscle, and that, yeah, it's not gonna work very well. So he's either gonna have to switch arms or go home. So we're hoping he goes home. <laughs>